creating timeless design. A building, a home, is not a frivolous thing. Architecture should stand the test of time. It's labor intensive, it's resource intensive. Architects have a responsibility to make buildings last. I don't think that's asking too much. A building should endure. It should be designed and built to stand for 100 years, if not more. Many of the projects in Habitus House of the Year were designed and built with consideration for how they will age into the future. But even more importantly, they were done so in a way that doesn't take up more than what is needed. Envelope House in Singapore is a great example of this. Rather than using the whole plot of land to accommodate a multi-generational family, the home is actually quite modest in size, which then allows for ample garden and outdoor space. People have been renovating architecture since the beginning of time. In the Renaissance, they took from the Roman temples, the antique Roman temples, to make new Roman temples. And I think historically that's always been seen as an act of vandalism. But in fact, uh, in the circumstances that we find ourselves now in, in the 21st century, it's probably the correct path to reuse and recycle and make use of existing architectural spaces. So something like House Flower, for instance, was built at a certain time when family life had a different rhythm to the rhythm it has now, and it needed updating. And so by renovating that house, it has a new life and it has a longer life. And often I think uh, the better solution, certainly from a sustainable perspective, is to renovate a house rather than knock something down and build a new one. I think in recent years, there has been a real backlash against mass produced products. Fast fashion is a great example of this but it's also true for furniture. In order to maintain a project's hard surface aesthetic integrity and long lasting durability, it is crucial the correct material be specified. And one of the best materials on the planet to do that is porcelain stoneware. Porcelain stoneware is actually all natural ingredients, but it's actually manufactured by man in a controlled environment. It can be really overwhelming for a client working on a project to know which products to choose. That's where working with an architect, we can help guide the process and often suggest ways of doing things that stretch the budget as far as it can go. Our approach to design is very much grounded in quality, using products and materials that will last and stand the test of time. Certainly our approach on the Collins Beach House. The finishes palette is simple, refined and warm. The materiality is solid and hard wearing. The building is logical in its layout, ensuring the occupation of the house is effortless. External spaces are integrated into the flow of the house so that they are a seamless part of everyday life. Given the extraordinary natural setting of this house and our aim to nestle the building within it, the landscape design was extremely important. All the landscaping is native, much of it from the local area, and acts as a continuation from the surrounding coastal bushland. Our appliances are enduring in design. While we offer great design flexibility, there are design features that remain like the red knobs, and that's because they are classic. Timeless design will never be out of fashion. Our products are built to last. In our architecture today, we do consider how a building will look, um, how the materials will perform, what patina, how will they change over time. And we do always encourage materials that age and mellow, that do not require constant repainting, retouching. And that's, I think, uh, very important in our architecture.